Good morning, you guys. New baby today. Why is this so bright? My little guy's doing good. He's hungry though. The good news is we got this lamb out. Uh, it was coming out. He was coming out head first. The bad news is mom has no milk. Now I'm hoping it's just because I induced her. Like I'm hoping she'll come into it. So we'll, we'll keep them together. I'll get a pen set up or I'll move them to a pen here. We'll check mama for another one here. <laughs> Head is flipped back. Oh, hi. You're alive, though. Good morning. It's a first girl. Hi. Oh, you want to help them? Where are you going? You gonna have another one? Uh, this one might be backwards. Right? They've all had 50 mils of colostrum. Might make another bottle, see if I can get any more into them now that they're a little more awake. Uh, the little, the two little ones, 50 mils might be all they can take for a little bit just because they're small. The bigger two, I might be able to squeeze a little more into them. Little update, I'm glad I tried to feed the bottles again. I got 100 mils into one of the big ones. I got 50 more into the second biggest one. I got 50-ish mils into the third one, and then the little baby, like the tiny itty bitty, wouldn't drink. And I'm like, okay. Checked her temp, and she's already crashed. So I gave her some dextrose, and she's on the heating pad. So hopefully within half an hour, an hour, she'll be warm enough that I could give a little more. Now she drank 50 right out of the, right off the hop. So uh, the other thing I have to do is treat number three. Good news, our little one is 
come back to life. So we are over 37 now. You can tell just by its perkiness. You want some more milk? <laughs> I think he's hungry. All right, I'm gonna feed him. Yay, it worked. You guys, I think we officially have begun lambing, like real lambing, not induced lambing. Because I see a little lammy, a lamb that's not in the sick pen. Imagine that. Now that is how you do it. See if you got another one in here. This might be a mommy. Ew. Yeah, that's not so good. Now that's a lot of stuff. I could grab a lamb. I might grab a lamb and rub. If she doesn't have any more, we might try to foster. She doesn't have any more. So I'm going to grab these cleanings and wipe it on one of those new lambs. Now, before I do this, I should make sure she has milk. Yep. Oh, she got a ton of milk. Perfect. Okay. So it's a little gross, but it does work. And this lamb was up trying to drink, and that mom doesn't have milk, so. I try to get the head, the belly, and the butt. That's where mama likes to claim her babies. So we got to get the didn't do -y. Good and gooey. Try that. I'll leave you there and kiss anymore. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh, that's so good. Okay, it's really loud in here because I've got our uh, little vacuum robot going, doing my dirty work, literally. It's just been one thing after another out there this morning, so I'm taking a little bit of a break right now. I've got everything fed and up to date. Chris is out there just finishing up chores. Um, I follow some Australian YouTubers, thanks to Jess. She got me onto some book sort of YouTubers. This one YouTuber, she, for Easter, she's making hot crust buns, but she made Biscoff hot crust buns. So I really want to make these for Easter. I think the kids are coming home today, so I wanted to surprise everybody and show off my baking skills, which, um, spoiler alert, I don't have those. I'm gonna get all the ingredients and then I'll show you what I do. My Easter hot cross buns turned out quite well because I didn't want to do the flour water thing. I did just icing because I'm a cheater and they're delicious. Mark is destructing. He's tearing down some more trees. We have our excavator coming in on Monday or Tuesday that he's gonna start uh, peeling back some dirt for this shop build. He's trying to save the lumber so we can do stuff with it. I think he wants to build all the cabinetry and stuff for inside the shop. That's what he's doing, but I need to go feed babies. Hello. How 
hell are we doing? I'm not sure if I talked to you guys about this or not, uh, but these are the two smallest of the quads and they both needed rescued. And that was actually after they drank their colostrum this morning. So just weird metabolical things happening with this group so far. Brig Tox is doing some weird things to mom and it's obviously affecting the baby, so. But oh my God, like we've had so many in these already for how many have been born, but it works, so. All right, we will grab a bottle and get them fed. And then just take the bottle and start feeding all the ones that need fed inside too. So I was able to get 100 mils into the one little one and uh, fi 50 in the other one that I had to tube this morning. So they're both drinking. They both have a sucking reflex. So they are going the right way. We're going to leave them in here for a little bit longer just so I can really keep track of them. Uh, just fed our... Uh, lamb from yesterday and he's a good drinker and then the other quad so the one that I left with mom he drank about 100 as well so 100 100 150 and then I want to show you our uh, fourth quad that was born this morning that I fostered hey buddy you drink good did you? you did you did sweet pea Oh, Mama. This is our foster baby. Hasn't missed a beat. You're a good mom. Thank you for taking her. So we are just waiting on this last mama to lamb and then our preg talks use are done and out of the way for the rest of lambing, which is lovely if no more go down it's a good sign that we're this close to lambing and no others are acting off man i hope she lambs yet today she, sh she should have lambed yesterday but she just hasn't yet and this mama we cannot get up at all i was hoping maybe today because she clean maybe she'd feel a little bit better to get up i've given her a painkiller i've given her antibiotics and just nothing seems to be turning around so she may have to be put down unfortunately really really hope these guys wait just a couple more days they're doing three days so really any time is fine but i really like to get these guys out of the way mom 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 don't run away oh it's because you got two heads coming up at the same time Alright, you gotta go. There you go. Go. Are you alive? Yeah, you are. Come on. Here you go. Here you go. Get. Oh, it's that. Oh, and it comes number two. Hi. I need some legs with the head, honey. There we go. Oh. Hello, big brother. Hello, Willow. You don't need to be there. Hi. Hi. Here, Mom. Number two. Are you still good? Willow, no. You come to help? Good more. That's it too. Good girl. Oh, lots of milk. Yes. Good job, mom. Good job. Good job. Well, you guys, our third 
Preg Talks mama is in labor, officially. Yeah, I have a head. Maybe there's a fighting chance. No milk. Three for three. We have three very lively lambs, and that is good to see. Hi, guys. Two boys. We are on the night check. We've been uh, back at the cabin. The kids are home and we decided we would uh, chill out at the cabin for a couple hours. So that was at like five. So I think five to seven we hung out at the cabin. And then Mark made homemade pizza. So we had that tonight. And then uh, I think maybe we'll do an Easter maybe supper tomorrow night. And then I think Jack has to be back in London on Sunday. So uh, a nice little visit with them. My uh, children are hungry, so we have a lot of bottles to feed. We have three here, we have three here in jackets. We have the little one who thinks mama has milk, but she doesn't. Um, I was hoping if I kept her on mom, that mom might come into her milk, but I don't, I don't think she has yet. Yeah, we hear you. Good morning, you guys. I think we have a new little baby. I only see one, though, which is a shame. I wish she lambed yesterday so I could foster. I'm not gonna lie, though. This has been a really rough start. A big blow to the ego when you came off a better lambing. So it that tends to happen. You get a couple good sort of runs, which thank God you do, or I wouldn't be doing this. It's really discouraging. Like, there's been enough stillborns already, which happens with multiples, and they've been early. That's exactly where I left you last night, so you haven't been up at all, have you? I hate pregnancy toxemia, I will say that. went into the house to have a little warm-up. When I was uh, in here at four, there was a mom making a lot of noise, and that's typically something's gonna happen. So uh, I just checked my cameras, and I think we have a baby. Do you have more than one, Mama? Oh, you have three there. Okay. Well, they're perfect. Well done. One, two, three. <laughs> Is that I saw little feet? <laughs> Anything else? That's it? No. Lovely. Just beautiful. Are you going to be the one that turns everything around? 
Good. She will never know how much I needed that this morning. I went in for a quick breakfast and uh, we have another baby. I don't even mind now because now they're coming out like good. <laughs> so far. Oh, hello. What do we got there? Beauty. Brand new. Well done. Yeah. We're probably going to have another one. You know, I've been so preoccupied with the work, these high maintenance mamas, that I have not paid attention to the ewes that are due here. And I mean, we got a lot that are looking like they're gonna pop this week. I'm probably gonna be very happy that we got these high maintenance ones out of the way. I would not have had the time to work with them and work with their babies. Uh, Mark's gonna bring out the nanny for me this morning, so I'll get them on the machine. Those triplets, from our Preg Talks Mama yesterday, they are really good drinkers and they're aggressive. So I would not be surprised if they become sort of my trainers on the nanny. So, I mean, it sucks. I think I did a quick count this morning, not before this you has lambed. I think I have more on the nanny. I will have more on the nanny than with their moms. And that is like catastrophic. Like you do not want that. The math does not math. You know, we had three moms that didn't have milk. And whether that was a preg tox thing, maybe it's Mady Visna rearing its ugly head and, and it's coming through as a preg tox no milk issue. I don't know. All I know is that uh, things today look like they're starting to turn around. Hi. Stellar. All right, I'm gonna get them moved. Check her for another one maybe. Unless she'll just have it on her own, that would be actually ideal. Mama ended up having two more. And the one is really cute. Chris is going to be excited. She's a girl. So one, two. Look at you. Hello. You're not cute at all. Look at that nose. Good job. Set of three. Set of three. And they're healthy. And they're with mom. And mom has milk, which is glorious. Just finished feeding, and while I was feeding, I looked in this general direction, and uh, someone was busy. Doo. Good girl. I think there's one more that's uh, acting pretty suspicious as well. She wasn't up to the feed bunk. Tail is sort of propped up. What are you doing? Okay, I just finished uh, tagging our first lambs uh, and also recorded any lambs that have been stillborn or deformed or just not with us. So, so far we have 18 lambs born out of six ewes up till yesterday. Uh, so that's not including today's lambs. So we are sitting at, oh, isn't that three? 18 divided by six. It is. So we are sitting at three lambs per ewe, which is too many. <laughs> it's one too many, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and to know how many stillborns we've had, uh, what have we had so far? So I think we've had six stillborns and my very first lamb that was born um, in that group of three last Sunday, the one that I spent like that whole entire day getting up and going uh, died 
this morning. This morning he was dead in the pen with mom. So that was discouraging. I thought he was sleeping and I'm like, what are you doing little guy? Not sleeping, yeah. So six are stillborn and one died uh, this morning. So we're not off to a great start, but uh, today was a much better day. So hopefully we've turned the corner of the bad and we're diving into the good. Uh, we're still two days out of lambing. Lambing isn't supposed to start till Monday. Okay, I went to the house for a uh, quick little break at 4.30, quarter to five. I planned the lambing to be next week, so I would have Easter weekend with the, with the kids. I knew they were gonna come home this weekend. And uh, there's always a few that kind of lamb early, but I didn't think it was gonna be quite this much work. So I was feeling a bit guilty. Well, I went to the house and the kids went rock climbing, so they weren't even there. <laughs> so I was feeling guilty for really no reason. So yeah, I had a quick drink and then checked my cameras, which you shouldn't do when supper's almost ready because sure enough, you're gonna have lambs. <laughs> I wondered if you were gonna lamb today. You were looking at me funny earlier. You're such a pretty you. She's got like, she's got a brown tip on her ear. Hello. <laughs> We gotta moved up here and I'm just gonna check her for another one although I think she's done. There's a bunch of updates from like the last 24 hours that I don't remember if I've shared yet or not. I'm really tired already. I do find social media very very hard when stuff is like going sideways. It's very hard to keep focused and to keep that triage going, especially when I don't have Chris, I don't have Chris today or tomorrow, and I cannot believe the difference it makes when I don't have her feeding and dealing with lambs when I've got like stuff going on in the rest of the barn. So I'm very grateful that the lambing has been very sporadic today, uh, because if I was dealing with like an onslaught of that, plus trying to get lambs fed on time and trying to train, which is not going well, because I'm not a good trainer. It's very overwhelming. I like woke up very overwhelmed this morning of all the things I knew I needed to do today. And once I started doing them and leaving this off, it's like, oh, wait a minute. This takes up a lot of my time. I don't mind starting out bad if I know things are gonna get better, but you have no idea when you start lambing if things are just gonna remain bad or if they get better. All right, mama, can I check you for another one? I think you're not. I thought you were, but I just thought I'd better check. <laughs> Hi guys. Can I check your utter? <laughs> oh yeah. I think they've already been on her udder, which is even better. Yeah. Okay, this mama here. She is the uh, the good you that never really went down with Preg Talks. She lambed yesterday morning. She had four. I was able to foster one successfully, yay. Um, but the other three are with the nanny right now. Uh, I was hoping, I left one with her till this afternoon in hopes that it would stimulate her milk. The lamb was on her all the time and I could tell it was not getting milk. So I was supplementing the whole entire time. So every time I fed the lambs, I fed him or her that was with mom. Uh, I actually ended up giving her penicillin and Medicam this afternoon because as soon as the lamb was gone, she just went like, I'm done. And ears started drooping. She hasn't ate. She hasn't drank. She has the runs a little bit. So there's definitely a little bit of infection in her, I would guess. I think the only other things you've missed are the two big ewes that went down. So not this one, but the other two, uh, I could not get them up. I had to euthanize the one yesterday and, uh, and I gave the other one, I treated her and left the babies with her in hopes that she would, it would stimulate her to get up. She never got up. So this morning I moved, moved the lambs out and I, uh, had to euthanize her. So sad day today. That's probably why I didn't turn on the camera as much. That and I just, I didn't have time. The lamb in the warming room, this mama here, this really skinny you, had those twins yesterday. So the one was quite big and the one was a little smaller, but not crazy small. And uh, she crashed right away. Like her temp went down quick. So I got her revived yesterday and she has been too fed for like 36 hours now. So every four hours I have to give her a tube. So I'm 
praying tonight maybe she'll start drinking out of a bottle. Some lambs it just takes a long time, especially preemies because they're not ready. They weren't ready. And this ewe is really skinny, so there could be something else going on with her. Today was much better in terms of like what came out. So yeah, now we're just on training lambs on that nanny, which I suck at. I don't know, I'm hoping by the time Carissa comes back Monday, she can really work hardcore on those lambs and get them on. You guys, it is the night check, and I am pleased to say, after 36 hours of tubing that lamb in the warm room, she drank a hundred and like 20 mils out of the bottle. Slow, very slow, but she still did it. Now I have to feed my children.